Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your May 2018 love reading. Generally my readings are love readings, so we're going to call it that. We're going to get two of these oracle cards, this one and this one, and then we'll break into that tarot deck. I would like to remind you that this may not resonate with you because, you know, I can't read every single person. Um... We're, but anyway, we will reveal these two oracles at the end unless they flip out while I'm shuffling. Then you'll get to see it sooner. This is for the month of May for the sign of Gemini. Now the timing is fluid. I'm recording this on April 16th, so this could resonate now. Anywhere through the end of April, into May, even the beginning of June. Because we're all on different cycles, right? We're all different phases, so... If this doesn't resonate now, I would come back and watch it in a couple weeks. But let's see what happens. Gemini. This is for the sign of Gemini for the month of May 2018. Should I take that one? I think I will. Gemini. This is for the sign of Gemini. <laughs> you know, that's happened with every single one so far that I've done for May. There's been like a, a chunk that didn't want to go in. I don't know what the hell that means, but. This is for the sign of Gemini, May 2018. What does Gemini need to know? Dear God, spirits, angels, and universe. This is for the sign of Gemini. Oh, well, we'll start right there. King of Swords, by golly, that's you. Okay, so, you know, maybe you guys need to stand firm on your decision. Okay? Be firm. This is also about, this is very intellectual and intelligent, which you are, right? There could be a new, exciting, passionate beginning here. This is a gift from above. Okay, this is something very exciting coming your way. Yeah, again, stand firm. Stand up for yourself. I don't know what this is, but this is a clear message. Fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you want. Don't give up. You're still on top. You may feel like retreating. You may feel like isolating yourself. You may just need time to refocus on your future to figure it out, figure out what it is you do want. Maybe you need to come up with a plan. Whatever's going on, you're becoming conscious of what you really want that's I mean that's the truth this is like a Jesus consciousness where somebody takes a time out to really figure out what their what their future is going to look like okay so I feel like you guys may be restraining yourself while you are coming up with the right decision you're trying to judge your your life your situations in the best possible way you know what I mean Whatever's happening is you are you're you're not taking anything lightly, put it that way. Yeah, you don't want to be deceived. It's like you think you no. Know, you're trying to you are in complete protection mode. Okay, I'm gonna protect myself from any deceit, from any lies, from any betrayal. You know, it's not like you're gonna let anybody come in and take advantage of you, because if they do, they, they would probably get hurt. Okay, and you may be feeling like you aren't going to budge, and it looks like you aren't going to budge. It looks, and I know this has been a pretty good ongoing theme for you guys. You guys are reluctant to see any new approach because you're seeing things clearly. You have a clear, you have clear insight as to what is exactly going on. There's no, uh, cloudiness going on up there. Okay, you got you got the you know what's going on, put it that way. There's there's nobody going to come in and deceive you. Yeah, 
I feel, you know, this is the three of pentacles reversed. Is like, you're not willing to compromise. I'm not going to compromise. My ideals, my ways, my anything. There's no compromising here. I know what I want. I know what I want. I know. Yeah. You guys are, are clinging to a notion. You're clinging to something. You're not willing. You're not willing to give an inch for fear of being deceived. <clears throat> You're holding on to something, Gemini. You are. This is usually clinging to the past. Five of Wands reversed. This is about... You're reluctant. You are. You are so damn reluctant. You're reluctant to see anybody else's approach, to listen to anybody else, to take their word for it, to trust them. Okay, that's what's going on here. It's like, you know, I'm not so sure that I can believe anything anybody says at this point, because I know. I know what's true, I know what's right, and I know that I'm seeing this clearly. And don't you be thinking you're going to pull the wool over my eyes. Okay? Whatever's happening is, you know, there could, there's some kind of fire that has been lit within you that is burning so strongly that I don't think anybody could put it out. Yeah, you guys are, you're probably feeling a little chaotic at this time, okay? You're probably feeling like, I'm overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed by something. You may feel like you're, you, there's too much, there's too much going on right now and you have to be, you have to keep a clear head. So things may be a little chaotic this, at this time because you got a lot going on in your life. There could be a new partner, there could be people trying to take from you, could be children. You know, there's there's so much going on. Life is so busy right now that you're just trying to keep things under control. That's what it looks like. It looks like you're trying to stay ahead of the game and judge every situation clearly for fear of being taken advantage of, used, lied to, cheated, robbed. You know, I feel like you guys are unwilling to budge or compromise in any direction because you're seeing all situations clearly and you're making damn sure that you don't miss a thing. You probably have several players, okay? You have, I think they're you, very busy, busy, busy month for you, okay? Several people in, involved here in your life. Yeah, it's like you, I, you know, right now, right now you are just really probably not enjoying life to its fullest. Maybe you're losing money. Maybe you've lost some money. Maybe you feel like things are a financial mess. And I know this is a love reading, but when things are not financially stable, it does affect your love life. It usually does, right? I feel like right now you may feel like you're, the, you're, you're just like losing money by the freaking minute. Okay, or somebody's after your money. And so that's why you're trying to judge every situation clearly so you don't lose anymore. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you may be disgusted with some events that have happened. And I feel like right now you're just trying to regain structure and control. You know, you're trying to re regain some kind of... Um, structure and I feel like right now you have the strength and you have the discipline this is discipline right now you have the discipline to remain focused during all this chaos but there is discontent isn't there there's discontent and you're sacrificing you have been sacrificing haven't you and so that's probably why you've put your you put your hand up and you're like oh, you know what how much more do I need to sacrifice? Something is going on here where you've sacrificed too much. And I think that probably this month, this month is when you stand up and you say, no, 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 no. I have been taken advantage of for far too long. And you can take about 10 steps back. Unless you want to get punched in the face. No, not that. But anyhow, um, I feel like 
you know, right now there's there could have been a break in a commitment or there could have been some split or there's just a lot of discontent and it does have to do with financial as well. There's disconnect, discontent in a relationship and maybe in the bank account, okay, which is, is left you on edge. Okay, it's left you on edge. And now yeah, it feels like you've just sacrificed way, way too much. And maybe, maybe you aren't believing, you aren't having faith right now. Maybe you're, you're, you have a loss of faith. Maybe you have a loss of trust. Maybe you are trying to be more conventional with your ways to regain the structure. Like I said, there may even be some legal issues this month because of, you know, money could be child support, you know, something like that. Or something to do with money back and forth between parents or whatever. Whatever's going on here has got you on guard and is not making you feel very happy. All right. So I feel like finances and money are probably overpowering the love sector right now for you for this month. I feel like you are standing strong to keep things under control within your home life. And I feel like, you know, there could be a new opportunity in love. There, there could be a new opportunity, but this may not be because this is the, just the Ace of Wands. We're going to see what's, what's going on here. But this is something very fiery as well. This is usually exciting, but, you know, I don't know. You're being called to go on and take a risk. So there could be a new offer in love in which you right now you're going through so much in your life that you're not able to take a risk and, and start this new journey with somebody. But I feel like, you know, the worst is over in your life, whatever you've been struggling with, the worst is over. And this is a time of liberation. It's a time of freedom, but you're stalling. You are stalling from moving forward on in a relationship. That's what it looks like to me. You're stalling, but I think you have, you're at a crossroads and you have an opportunity to move forward with someone. But I feel like you are unable to do that because of everything that's going on, uh, everything else that's going on. I feel like it's time to make a clear choice. Are you ready for a relationship? Are you ready for a new partner? Are you ready to get out there and date? Or are you just too busy? That's, I guess, if you're single. If you are in a relationship with somebody now, I feel like you are. there's a chance for some sort of um, renewal in the relationship for it to become more playful if you would give it some time. But I'm not sure that you have the time for it right now because it feels like you're going. Th there's a lot of busyness here. I feel like with this two of wands, there could be delays in love because this is delays. There could be delays with this new journey with whoever or whatever's going on. There could be delays. There could be indecision. There, You could be restricted from this new partner because of all the bullshit that you're going on that you have to deal with right now. So it feels as though right now there's just a little bit of... Um, disappointment in the love arena because of the I think it's like chaos you know and it's a revolving around money that is taking precedence to love this month yeah there's some kind of disappointment here and it could have to do with money like I said that is you know keeping you emotionally unavailable in the love arena even though, I mean, I'm not saying that you're not in love. I'm just saying I think your focus is on regaining structure in your home and your finances this month. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation Whoever this person is that is in your life now or who is waiting in the wings, they're going to be here when you get through this bullshit. Okay? That's what this tells me. Third chakra. Archangel Chamuel. Chamuel. That's how I say it. Um, this is your, this is your uh, solar plexus chakra. This is the I can 
I have the power, I have the self-esteem, and I have the confidence to prevail. I will not back down. I can do anything. So I feel like, Gemini, this month of May is about overcoming obstacles in your home, you know, in your finances, so that you can let have time for love, okay? Have time for this new partner or this partner that you've been with. Okay? I feel like this is a month of bringing stability and security back to your life after some sort of chaos. Fitting in love. Trying to figure out where you're going to fit that in. So anyway, this is what I have, Gemini. I wish you the best. This is for April, end of April, into May. It's for May, but it could resonate now. Talk to you later.